A Defenders exclusive investigation all new at six. More and more people arrested in Mecklenburg County are getting out of jail for free. Take a look at this. The number of people required to pay bail is steadily declining year after year. In 2014, nearly 14,000 people had to pay what's called a signed bond. In 2018, that number just under 7,000. It's part of a bail reform movement to even the playing field for people considered low to moderate risk. The goal is to make it so a person's income doesn't determine how long they stay behind bars while they await trial. The defenders Nathan Morabito is live and Nathan you talked to a judge who is convinced this change is actually improving safety. That's what she said, Sarah. She told me making someone pay cash to get out of jail does not increase the chances that they will actually show up in court. Instead, she said it unfairly packs the jail with mostly poor people who spend about 12 days on average sitting behind bars. But some fear this change in mindset puts the community in danger. Oftentimes, poor people are humiliated. Christy Puckett Williams couldn't afford the $167,000 bail for cocaine trafficking and other drug related charges. So she says she felt forced to take a plea deal just to get out and give birth to twins. Typically people who don't have money don't have access to the same amount of justice that people who have money have. Williams now with the ACLU says she is trying to bring back dignity to the justice system. This is a way to try to balance some of that out. Bail bondsmen are on the other side. We're seeing a trend where They'd rather let the person walk out of jail than house them. They're concerned yeah, yeah. people like this man, due in court in March after police arrested him for striking an officer with his car, are getting out on unsecured bonds and written promises to appear, meaning they don't have to pay any money up front. Bondsmen have a financial incentive to support bail. It is their business. Unfortunately, everybody doesn't show up to court. But they say it goes beyond that. I know how many days a week I spend searching for people to bring them back to court when they're trying to tell the public that everybody shows up. Money bail doesn't really improve public safety. Judge Elizabeth Trosh points to the high success rate of Mecklenburg County's pretrial supervision program, saying most defendants do show up to court and don't commit new crimes. That program requires someone to do anything from check in by phone to report in person to agree to receive services. For the most part, we're talking about low level misdemeanor offenses. Um, we are not talking about violent offenses. The judge says it's a better alternative than cash bail for most defendants. We're probably talking about misdemeanor possession of marijuana, disorderly conduct, second degree trespass. Namely, people determined to be at low to medium risk of failing to appear or re offending, a decision that weighs all these factors. She told us despite the conventional wisdom, most defendants just don't pose a safety threat. Our judges are committed to setting conditions of release that ensure public safety. The law not only allows this, judges say it encourages alternatives to bail, something the judicial system long ignored. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, well, what are the chances someone charged with murder or rape will be released without first posting bail? The judge told me those chances are incredibly slim. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. All right, Nathan, thank you.